In the fictional Fight Club's lounge, the final battle between the galaxy's greatest terrors draws close. Sailor Galaxia and Majin Buu now show off their short-range weapons. At short range, Galaxia strikes with Galactica Super String, a hangman's noose for many a foe. Well, Galactica, you better show us something good. I expect good things from you. Now don't let us down. Some damage. Well, well, by the looks of it, I can definitely see how the people over here, they would be dead, but I don't know how much that would affect on Boo. <laughs> you fool! Oh yeah! Who's on top now? Majin Boo! Me! Boo is confident in his hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, we all know the guys in Dragon Ball Z are famed for their hand-to-hand -hand combat. But I don't know if Manjin Boo can get near a Galaxia, so I don't know if it's going to be very effective. Boo, show us what you can do on three, two, one. Very fast, quick moves, but imagine a chewing gum punching you in the face. Well, we can see that this chewing gum punched those guys in the face, and they're all dead. Yeah. Their heads are completely knocked off. Mm -hmm. Very well done, Majin Buu. So, which of these two villainous warriors gets the edge at short range? I would say Buu, because he can regenerate. I mean, Galaxia can obliterate him. But as soon as she gets her back turned, Boo will regenerate and possibly strike her from the back. Majin Boo gets the edge at short range for his hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. The tests are complete, but before deciding the deadliest fictional warrior, one final thing must be discussed. An X-Factor. The experts discuss their opinions and their final predictions. Alright guys, what's your final predictions? Uh, who do you think is going to win this? I'm still on the borderline. I'm going to let the test determine who it is, so... I think Galaxia has the upper hand, but that is if she destroys Wu completely. Which is not easy to do. No, no, I mean, uh, Goku tried that a couple of times and that did not end well. Well, here's my concern. I really, I still don't know who's going to win. I think both of them could win. We're doing... A classic matchup is going to be speed versus durability. Galaxy's mm -hmm. got the speed, Boo's got that regeneration. Mm -hmm. Either one of them could be fatal to the other. Absolutely. What I think Galaxia needs to avoid, though, if she wants to win, I think she needs to avoid that super string attack. Mm -hmm. As soon as she's closing in, she's playing Boo's game, she's not playing her game anymore. What she needs to do is stay at long range, use that finger snap of death, and use that Galactica Ripper. That's what I. That's how she's gonna win this. Mm -hmm. and, and as that candy beam, I think that's gonna be useless against Galaxia's speed, as impressive as it was. Indeed. Uh, anything else, guys? No, I, I think, think we should. We, go to uh, the computer. We should yeah, we should run a simulator. Let's do it. Coming up, Sailor Galaxia and Majin Buu battle it out to determine the deadliest fictional warrior.
The tests have been completed, and it's now time to decide who is the deadliest fictional warrior. First, with special weapons, we tested Sailor Galaxia's Galactica Ripper against Majin Buu's Candy Beam. Galaxia's Galactica Ripper was more impressive than the Candy Beam was. It's instant, whereas the Candy Beam actually has to hit you, which with Galaxia's speed, I'm not sure that's going to do. Galactica Ripper is instant death, Boo's regeneration doesn't matter at all against it. Edge Galactica Ripper. Edge Sailor Galaxia. At mid-range, we tested Majin Buu's human extinction attack against Sailor Galaxia's Galactica Inflation. Buu gets the edge with his human extinction attack because shooting an enemy 10,000 times is better than shooting an enemy once, no matter how good that once is. Edge Majin Buu. Edge Majin Buu. At long range, we tested Sailor Galaxia's finger snap of death against Majin Buu's vanishing ball. Both had the same outcome, but in the end, Galaxia won. This is due to the fact she was faster, and usually the person that does it faster wins. Edge Galaxia. Edge Sailor Galaxia. At that short range, we tested Boo's combat prowess against Sailor Galaxia's Galactica Super String. Majin Buu gets the edge in short range, because although Galaxia's attack was powerful, it can be diverted or may not do that much damage to Majin Buu. And once Majin Buu gets close enough to her, it's cookie time. So the edge goes to Majin Buu. Edge Majin Buu. With all the tests complete, only one thing remains to be done. Clovis the Shell with the Battle Simulation Program. We're going to simulate this battle 1,000 times. Let's see who is the deadliest fictional warrior.
<laughs> Over the course of a thousand battles, Galaxia got 583 kills, whereas Wu got only 417. Although it was a fair fight, Galaxia was just too quick, too powerful, and her special attack just made Boo's regeneration useless. So congratulations, Galaxia, you are the deadliest fictional warrior. Well, you have the results. It was a fair match, it was a good match, but in the end, Sailor Galaxia proved just too fast. She had the initiative advantage because of that, and she was able to attack Boo with a weapon that made his regeneration completely useless. Therefore, the winner is Sailor Galaxia. Well done. In the end, it was Galaxia's speed that allowed her to become the deadliest fictional warrior. Congratulations, Galaxia. Well done. Next time on Deadliest Fictional Warrior, Legolas's archery skills have won him fame throughout all of Middle Earth. But what happens when he goes up against the King of the Spartans? On an all new Deadliest Fictional Warrior, where the ultimate archer goes up against the ultimate spearman, Legolas versus Leonidas.